Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Mr. Boskin Does Some Math. Today we're doing Illustrative Math Grade 8 Unit 4 Lesson 4. Okay, our first question here says Maya and Tyler's work on the equation 2 fifths b plus 1 equals negative 11 together. Maya's solution is b equals negative 25, and Tyler's is b equals negative 28. Here's their work. Do you agree with their solutions? Explain or show your reasoning. Well, I definitely don't agree with both of their solutions. Okay, what did my do first? It looks like my started out by getting rid of this plus one, which means subtracting one. If we subtract one from that side, we have to subtract one from this side those would cancel. What's negative 11 subtract 1? Well, if we're 11 feet underground, we go down one more foot. We are not 10 feet underground. We're 12 feet underground. So that right there is a mistake. That should be negative 12. Okay, what did Tyler do? Tyler, it looks like... The two-fifths became two. The negative 11 became negative 55. So it looks like he multiplied by five. And if we multiply negative 11 times five, that's negative 55. Two-fifths times five is two, but we have to multiply this whole equation, which means we have to multiply this plus one times five, so this right here should be a five. Do I agree with their solutions? No, they're both wrong. Oop, solve an equation. Okay, what do we have to do first to solve this? There are two different ways to do this, and I'll do them both here. Let me just copy the equation down twice. x minus 4 equals 12x. 3 times x minus 4 equals 12x. Okay, we have some parentheses going on here, and we can't deal with what's in the parentheses till we've dealt with what's outside of the parentheses. So how are we going to go about doing that? Well, first, what I think is, let's distribute. 3 times x is 3x. 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. Equals 12x, because we didn't do anything to that side. Nothing more we can do with that. Okay, we have one side of this equation has x's and numbers. The other side of the equation only has x's. So let's get all the x's onto the side that already only has x's, which means we have to get rid of this 3x. How do we get rid of 3x? We subtract it. 3x subtract, 3x cancels. We're left with negative 12 equals 12x subtract 3x is 9x. Now we have to divide each side by 9. And we have negative 12 ninths, which is 4 thirds equals x. So x equals negative 4 thirds. What else can we do here? If we look at it the other way, we could get rid of what's inside those parentheses by dividing that whole side of the equation by 3. Because right now, the whole side of the equation is being multiplied by 3. If we also divide by 3, that'll cancel. Do it to one side, do it to the other. Those cancel. x minus 4 equals 12x divided by 3 is 4x. Now what do we have to do? we got to get all the x's on one side of the equation, so let's get rid of this x. Subtract x from one side, you get to subtract x from the other. Those will cancel. Negative 4 equals 4x minus x is 3x. Divide each side by 3. 
negative 4 thirds equals x. We got the same thing both ways. We did it two different ways. This one wound up being about the same either way, but there are definitely problems where one way or the other will make it easier. Let's not drag all that stuff around. Okay, what's next? Describe what is being done in each step while solving the equation. So if we're describing what they did, it looks like the first thing they did was distribute the two because this two went away and two times negative three x is negative six x. They distribute the two. Next, what do we do? Ooh, from step B to step C, there's no more X's on the left. How do we get rid of negative 6X? We add 6X to both sides. Now, what did we do? It looks like what changed was this 2. So how do we get rid of adding 2? We subtract 2. from both sides. Now what did we do to isolate the x? We gotta get rid of that 11. How do we get rid of multiplying by 11? We divide each side by 11. And then we're done. Okay, what's next? Andre solved an equation, but when he checked his answer, he saw his solution was incorrect. He knows he made a mistake, but he can't find it. Where is the mistake, and what is the solution to the equation? Now, where is the oopsie? Negative 2 times 3x is negative 6x. I agree with that. Negative 2 times negative 5 is positive 10. 4 times x is 4x. Four, 4 times 3 is 12 plus 8. That whole first step looks good to me. Now, 6x plus 10 stayed the same. 4x plus 12 plus 8. 8 plus 12 is 20. I agree with that step. Now, what did we do? It looks like the negative 6x went away. So how do we get rid of a negative 6x? We add 6x. If we add 6x to this side, we got to do it to the other side. 4x plus 6x is not negative 2x. 4x plus 6x is 10x. Let me rewrite this real quick. So we should have 10 equals 4x plus 6x is 10x plus 20. Now what are we going to want to do? The left side's only numbers. The right side has x's and numbers, so let's get rid of the numbers on the right. How do we get rid of adding 20? We subtract 20. Do it to one side, do it to the other. 10 subtract 20 is negative 10 equals 10x. Divide each side by 10. x equals negative 10 divided by positive 10. 10 divided by 10 is 1. Negative divided by a positive is a negative. x equals negative 1. Choose the equation that has solutions 5, 7, and 8, 13. So let's check the first one. It says choose the equation, so we've only got to find one. 3 times 5 is 15 minus 7 is... 15 minus 7 is 8. That one works. Now let's test it with 8, 13. 3 times 8 is 24 minus 
13, 24 minus 13 is 11. So it's not this one. Y equals X plus two. If I plug in five and seven, five plus two equals seven. I agree with that. Eight plus two is 10 not 13 so that one doesn't work y minus x equals 5 7 plug in 5 7 7 minus 5 is 2 so it's sure looking like this bottom one let's check I'll even write both of these out to make extra sure we got the right one right y the first point 5 7 equals 2 times 5 minus 3 7 equals 2 times 5 is 10 minus 3 7 equals 7 that one worked plug in 8 13 13 equals 2 times 8 minus 3 13 equals 2 times 8 is 16 minus 3 13 equals 16 minus 3 is 13. Both of those work. The correct answer is D. Lots of questions today, it seems like. The length of ribbon is cut into two pieces to use in a craft project. The graph shows the length of the second piece, X, for each length of the first piece, Y. How long is the ribbon? Let me zoom out a little bit so we can see all of this. Let me just show you the graph here. So what I notice is if the length of the first piece is 15, the length of the second piece is 0. If the length of the second piece is 15, the length of the first piece is 0. How long is the ribbon? 15 feet. The longest we can get is 15 feet. What is the slope of the line? Let's draw a nice little triangle here somewhere. That has a rise of one and a run of one and it's going down. So the slope is negative one over one or negative one explain what the slope of the line represents and why it fits the story so the slope of the line being negative one means for every foot longer the second piece gets if this gets one foot longer For every foot longer the second piece gets, the first piece gets negative one, so one foot shorter. Does that make sense? Yeah, because as one gets longer, the other one gets shorter, and they're both just the two ends of a piece of line cut in half piece of ribbon cut in half. Okay, that was our last one for today. This has been another episode of Mr. Boskin Does Some Math. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.